Today I'm going to talk about another rare problem that occurs during Windows installation. Sometimes we get a message that no drives are found. It can mean three things. 1. Windows doesn't have drivers for the particular motherboard SATA controller. 2. The hard drive isn't correctly connected to the motherboard or the power supply. 3. The hard drive doesn't work. If your hard disk is not corrupted, then you can follow the two methods that I'm going to show you through which you can solve this problem. So let's get started. The most common scenario is that Windows needs external SATA drivers to recognize the hard drive. This will usually happen with laptops, rather than with desktop PCs. We will find those drivers on the manufacturer's website for the laptop or the motherboard, usually a SATA or SATA AHCI. Now for the first method you need another PC. On the second PC, we then download the drivers, usually as a zip file, and copy all the files to a USB thumb drive. Then, insert your bootable disk into the USB drive into the PC, where we want to install Windows. Then click on Load Driver. Then, we can either click OK for Windows, to search automatically for the driver, or browse to point manually to the driver folder. After that, the disks will be visible, and we can install Windows. Now, let's see the second method. Remember by doing this process you will lose any data on the hard drive. First go to the, the welcome screen, that comes up on Windows Setup. Press Shift plus F10, which will display a command prompt. Type disk part and press Enter. Then, type list disk and press Enter. Hopefully you can see your drive in the list. You should see a number identifying it. Now, Type select disk and the disk number. See the picture in the video to understand clearly. Then, type clean and press enter. Now restart installing Windows. That's it. I hope it will solve your problem.